I won't deny my opinion that freemium games are a big scam in the industry. Release the game for free but hide most of its features behind a paywall? Just release the whole thing and charge full price like a normal game. So it begs the question with a lot of games in this category. Is the base game still fun to play and do the paywalls hinder its quality that terribly? That's the question I want to answer with my review of Star Wars Hunters for the Switch. Star Wars Hunters is a multiplayer PvP arena third-person shooter, which apparently has a story. I guess it's just after the Empire has fallen, so a bunch of random characters compete against each other in team-based combat. Like Monday Night Football, but with lasers, rockets, and lightsabers. It's really just a multiplayer game at its core, though. There's no actual story mode, so don't think about that too much. While it kind of annoyed me that Hunters used such a similar art style to Fortnite, the visuals are still pretty good. The animations are smooth, the frame rate is smooth, and the textures of the characters and environments are very well rendered. Perhaps the art style actually helps hide any technical shortcomings. It's all complemented by great particle effects and lighting, especially from the lasers and neon lights on one of the maps. Sound was actually better than I expected. To keep up a high energy pace with the whole game, there are sports commentators for the matches who get really into their commentary, as well as some short voice clips from the hunters you play as, which add some good personality to each character. The sound effects are very fitting for a Star Wars game, particularly with the lightsabers, and the music adds to the excitement of the whole game. Though it doesn't play consistently as you're in a battle, which would have been nice to have. What is nice is the variety of hunters to play as here. All of them original characters, yet some way based on character types you know from the franchise. Rebel Gunners, a Stormtrooper, Bounty Hunters, a Sith Lord, a Wookiee, a Droid Jedi, along with a couple of support characters like Medics. Each of these hunters all play different from one another, with all of them having special abilities like grappling hooks, shields, force powers, and the Wookiee's bull charge. Even better are the ultimate attacks a hunter can use from letting it charge through the game. These were all badass, fun to use attacks that made sense with their respective character types. Regardless of which hunter you're playing as, the game has solid mechanics across the board. Shooting, jumping, and melee attacks all controlled well in this third person view. But I didn't like that you can't choose the same character as anyone else on your team. Much like playing Apex Legends, it's like calling dibs. You can't pick a character when someone else on your team has already picked it. I guess it's always about having teams balanced with character types, but it's still annoying. Now there are four gameplay types between controlling points, holding a trophy the longest, and just wasting each other to get the most kills. It does feel a bit limiting that all the gameplay modes are team-based, there's no free-for-all here. But every match tends to last about 2-3 to three minutes, which is great for pacing and for those who want to level up fast because the game gives you a lot of incentive to level up. As you play, whether you win or lose, you earn XP through various challenges to unlock more hunters, skins, weapon paints, cheers, and stickers. There are general challenges here, plus daily ones, and challenges for each hunter that become available by unlocking said hunter, or playing with that hunter enough to get them to level 5. It's a lot of the same kind of stuff you've seen in many competitive online multiplayer games. When it came to going online to battle, it was always easy to find a match. But you don't get to choose the mode or map you're about to play in something else you've all seen in modern games of this subgenre. However, I love the designs of these maps. There's a great variety of maps here based on locations from the movies. They're very detailed with good high and low levels for dynamic combat, and because they're not very big, it's not so easy to end up in a boring spot of no combat happening. To top it all off, I never had a moment of lag or connection problems, which is more than I can say for Apex Legends. Unfortunately, the reason why I'm talking about online so much is because that's all there is. There is no single player or offline gameplay besides the tutorial and training mode which you play to test hunters out against robots. And I don't mean multiplayer AI bots, I mean these dumb, basic robots that are just high-tech punching bags. Some of you probably won't care about that, but you might care about the issue of microtransactions. Most of the microtransactions are for cosmetics, but a few of the hunters are trapped behind a paywall. This was something that bugged the crap out of me. Yes, it's only $10 so the pass that unlocks the bounty hunter I want, but I still hate this on principle. I was looking forward to playing as the Mandalorian lookalike who's on the poster, not knowing I would have to shell out additional money for him. Also, even with how quickly matches start and finish, it takes too long to earn enough XP to unlock all of the free hunters who have to be unlocked in a preset order. I felt like I had to play for several hours just to get to the force wielding characters that I also really wanted to play as. It just feels like the game being inorganically dragged out. While this is a fun game with the mechanics, it's structured far too much like a typical freemium game. Play it if you're a Star Wars fan, but to make a statement against such a practice in this industry, don't give them any of your money.
Well, that's my review of Star Wars Hunters for the Nintendo Switch. To help me produce more videos like this, please support my Patreon page. Special thanks to my current patrons here. Remember that supporting my Patreon gets the name of the credits and access to my main videos a day early. Also be sure to watch my previous reviews of these other free-to-play multiplayer games on the Switch. Fortnite and Apex Legends. See you all next time! Team Gundog with the victory! Gundog with the win!